Hello everyone, and welcome back to Ocean Block. Um, we are on the third episode. Um, in the last one, we set up almost full automation for this uh, little sluice, right? Um, so the items can automatically be placed in with a hopper, which is pretty cool. Um, they can automatically be picked up with the hopper, so we've got a bunch of junk in here. Um, and that's pretty cool. We also set up a little smelter right here to get the iron and whatnot. Um, I like that. I, I, I'm on board. What I think we do this episode, though, I, I, I was reading the comments... Um, Quite a few nice comments. Thank you, guys. Um, we should do a little bit of adventuring. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of adventure uh, in terms of, like, uh, Minecraft mod packs. I I'm just not. I'm just not. Um, but what I will say is that thing down there looks insane. It looks insane. I still don't know if, like, somehow it's moving. I think it's not moving. I think it's just the structure. And it just looked a bit scary. Um, clearly... We get mining fatigue and slowness if we go in the water. So that's that's not really viable going down there. But what we can do, <laughs> once our field of view comes back, we can probably go exploring and maybe find some more loot because already we have found a diving mask. So like we've gotten one set of, or one part of this uh, uh, diving set. So there's a diving mask. There's, well, I thought there was more. It's in the quest book. I know that much. Um, <laughs> where's it going to be? Exploration? Diving gear. Um, so we need a tank. Um... They're standard tanks. Okay, let's... Maybe I'll go through and bookmark them, and, and then we'll figure out exactly what we need to do. There's wetsuit leggings. Okay, it looks like these titanium ingots. Um, they sound really difficult to get, but we'll, we'll see. That They sound like they're used quite a bit. Yeah, more titanium and more of these fiber meshes. Okay. So that's what we need. Um, so, what do we need for a tank? We need fiber mesh, and we need titanium ingots. And honestly, like, look at the rest of this stuff. It's the same thing. We, we, this is all we need. Fiber mesh is made with kelp. Okay, that seems easy enough. Titanium ingots, however. These guys look like they might be a little bit more tricky. Um, we can sluice them using a blazing mesh. Okay. A blazing mesh and lava. I might bookmark lava as well because I don't really know how to get that just yet. Um, titanium dust. Is there like another cheatsy way to get a hold of this? Titanium clusters, cl chunks. Um, oh, wait. You can get the... You can get titanium chunks from a gold mesh. Okay. So yeah, we can do that uh, with just some water. Okay, okay. So, so that's doable. Um, you know what? That gives me an excuse to do a little bit more sluicing before we adventure. I I might do a little bit of both. Um, and by that, what I mean is we can set up a bunch of stuff to be processing while we're out exploring, come back, and it should be ready. In fact, I should be able to, because I mean, I'm playing single player, so I don't see a reason why not to. I can force load this stuff. So they're essentially chunk loaded. Um, and that means that this guy will run even when I'm not here. Um, I guess the, the next part now is I need to actually, uh, what do I need to do? I need to get gravel to actually use. We have a bunch of compressed, I, I mean, this looks fine. I can just chuck that in there. That will work. We do need a golden, um, what should we call it? A gold mesh. I believe currently we have a cloth mesh. Um... I'm also, I guess I'm standing too close because this stuff should be getting put away and not in my inventory. How much um, iron do we have? Honestly, we, we have a fair bit. I'm going to take this gravel back out for a second. I'm going to take the iron. I'm going to see if we can process it real quick. Um, grab all this. Run over here. We do have a little bit already, so I might be able to get away with this a little bit. Um, make this. What I want to do is try and get the iron mesh. So we got to upgrade our cloth mesh into an iron mesh. So that should be doable. Um, and then from there, we can make a golden one. And I assume with the iron mesh, I, I assume we're going to get more gold from it. Um, I feel like that's probably a safe bet. Gold mesh uses... Oh, it doesn't... They don't even upgrade. Okay. So iron mesh is going to get us... You know what? We need to be we need to be sluicing something else like dust or or sand, and then that's that's honestly probably all we need to do. Um, I'll still get enough. I think what I need is uh probably another one of these. I think we need four ingots to make this uh d -d -d iron mesh. Yep, four ingots. We need a string. We've got that. Um, okay, it's doable. It's doable. I think this is doable at least. Go ahead and switch this out. By the way, my hay fever is going through the roof. It is currently like. Just under 30 degrees in my room. Um, it, it is extremely hot. <laughs> so I apologize if the quality of everything in this video is just a little bit subpar. If the audio, like if I sound weird or something, I do, I do apologize. But once again, not much I can really do about that. Um, okay. 
So we have the stuff. L let's go ahead and make this mesh. Let's go ahead and do that. Iron mesh, boom. There we go. Um, we can actually check a comparison here. So cloth mesh, um, if we have a look at this, it is 6% from reds, uh, uh, from sand. We get 6% chance to get gold chunks. With the iron mesh from sand, we get a 9%. So it's a little bit more. So, so it is worth doing, um, I would guess. So cloth mesh can go away. Iron mesh will go in. Um, we're going to actually need to be using our sand. So we've got some sand already that we can chuck in here. So we might as well do that. Um, as for the rest of the stuff we have... Um, hmm. Did we figure out how to mine the compressed uh, the compressed stuff? It was an obsidian level... Oh, oh I've, I've crashed. I searched the thing. Oh, God. All right, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, I do actually remember. I believe all we were doing was just uh, manually placing everything using the wands. So I'm going to go ahead and do that same thing. So just wand, wand. And each time it makes it easier and easier and easier and easier and easier to place. And then we just vein mine it. Or, or I guess ulti mine it. So I'll do this with um, the cobble I have on me. And turn it into gravel and then turn it into sand. And that should be pretty easy. And then uh, I guess that'll be it. Now an important thing to note is I believe um, when you do this, it uses up some of your hunger. So if you watch your hunger, it's, yeah, it's getting drained a little bit as we do this. Um, but I think it's just how much hunger it would have used anyway. Just obviously... Because we're doing it all at once, it's sort of speeding it up a little bit. Um, but it's definitely worth doing. I, I, I will definitely say that. Um, so there we go. That is what? A bunch of gravel. Now I've got to do the exact same thing and turn it into sand because that's the only way we get gold. We have a bit. Um, we need what? At least four? What, what, what did I actually need? I, I'm, I'm a little bit confused, I'll be honest. It was just the gold mesh, right? And then we were trying to get titanium chunks? Yeah. Okay, so, so we, just need, we just need four bits of gold. Easy, easy, easy. All right, before we completely die of hunger, what I might do is just go and uh, ulti mine these trees real quick and get like all the, you know, saplings and hopefully apples they drop. Although it's not looking too good. Oh, uh, no, that's a poppy. Okay. Um, we'll see if I survive. Otherwise, we'll have to, I don't know, I guess invest in our farming a bit more. Yeah, this is really... We're not getting a lot of apples, or at least not as much as I thought we would. Alright, the Apple mission wasn't a success, um, so what I guess I'm going to do is, uh, I kind of want to build another farm, so I'm just, I mean, we got a bunch of dirt from, uh, the gravel that we were, you know, digging up, so I'm just going to make a little patch over here that goes out. Someone made a really good suggestion, by the way, which was, um, we could build a path, or like a bridge, to one of those islands we saw, probably the big building. We could convert the building into one that we live in, and also it would create a, um, a nice patch of dirt, like if we made a dirt bridge, and we could use that as a farm, so... We might do that at some point. Um, my goal for this episode, I haven't really said yet. I want to I wanna try and make the diving gear, honestly. Um, but what I'll do is I'll just set up that gold mesh. We'll chuck in a bunch of gravel. So I guess I'll leave this gravel to be chucked in. And I'll go exploring while it's processing. Then hopefully when I come back, it'll be processed and we might have some of the titanium we need. That That's my thought process. And then we also need to find kelp. Um, hmm. All right, let me, let me plant all the seeds we have that actually grow into food. And I'll, I'll continue my operation here. Okay, um, that was a quick, a quick cleanup. It's possible... No, we still do need more. Um, so I'm going to chug all this sand in here. That'll get processed. Um, I might need to right-click this guy a little bit. That should get us gold. That, that should be good. O honestly, what I might do is I'll right-click this guy up to be like, I don't know, I guess three minutes or something. It can go up to five, apparently. We'll, we'll, we'll get it, you know, on its way. And then I'll, we'll do some exploring. How does that sound? I also, we've planted the farm. That's it down there. Looking beautiful. Um, so I'll get this guy up a little bit more. Then we'll explore. Hopefully we find some food. We haven't done any other quests. Um, I should probably empty the rest of my inventory for the most part because I imagine we're gonna be we're gonna be bringing back some loot, right? That's that's I guess the plan. Can I turn wheat into flour or something and eat it? Is that a thing we can do? We can make pasta, raw pasta. Um, we can't. Ooh, ooh, turn it into seeds, bread. We can grindstone it. Okay, that, that's still a little bit away. Alright, I'm going to leave this guy. We'll wait for the gold to be made. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. Our boat, I believe, was on one of these shores. Yep, here it is. And we're going to try and come back with a with a bunch of loot. And also not die. That's probably the bigger plan. Um, I've also... What was I going to say? Look at that thing down there. That it looks very om ominous. Om ominous? Ominous. Ominous. <laughs> I, I do have a waypoint back to the base, so we should be fine. Oh, we can actually see a lot on the map. Let's go here. So that will be... I, do, oh, I have my map disabled, so I can't really tell. Um, it'll be in one of these directions. Oh, yep, here it is. So I believe we checked that one over there. 
but I don't think we've seen the insides of this one. The last one didn't have any mobs. What's going to be my good attack weapon? Um, <laughs> none of these are that good. Honestly, probably the stone hammer, believe it or not. Um, all right, here we are. Let's get out of the water. Hopefully there's no creepy crawlies in this one. I can barely see, which means you guys can probably barely see as well. What's my brightness at? It's on bright. It's not really helping though, is it? Black barrel, cauldron. Let's mine the black barrel. That should get us some loot. Here we go. We got sea pickles. <laughs> and that was it, really? Okay, sure. Um, we'll leave the cauldron here. We can, you know, come back for those if we ever need them. And um, there's some sea pickles up here. A crate. Let's chop open this guy. What sort of loot we got? Oh! <gasps> Okay, I'm not going to eat all the carrots, but I will eat all the apples. We can we can grow those carrots. Okay, yeah. The the exploring was definitely the play. Um, we have another crate here. I'm a little bit scared that there's going to be like a trap in one of these rooms. Glass and dried kelp. Okay. That's all right. A purple barrel here. I, I do... I, I'm, I'm going to say it. This is pretty fun. I really... You can breathe underwater. Did I just win the game? Wait, I th did I just, this sounds, oh, you can breathe underwater. No. Did I, I swear that's me winning the game. Uh, how do I open the trinket menu again? I, I've already forgotten. Lost trinkets, press R. I think I've got that bounded. I rebounded, didn't I? Uh, trinket, open trinkets, three. Locked cost 15 XP levels. I don't have that. So I could turn off Ultimine and I could add turtle shell. And now I can breathe underwater? <laughs> what? I feel like that ruins this whole mod pack. Like, the whole mod pack is that you can't go underwater. And now I can just... <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, I'm glad... What's this? Broken heart. Right click to learn. Plus four max... I like this trinket mod. Oh, this is... And... Dude, the looting mod. I... I really enjoy this. So now I've got a, d a diamond paxel. And so now I can... I'm Now I'm really cool. I got a chainmail helmet and a turtle egg. Oh, I am a big fan of this. I, I like... Yeah, you know what? These buildings... We're gonna... If, if we want to take these and make these our own, like, little bases, I'm definitely gonna have to open up some more windows and put some lighting in here because it is very dark in these. But I... I cannot believe this. We... <laughs> I mean, we've won, right? We've got diamond. We've got breathing underwater. Okay. I, I do want to give it a shot. So let's let's see. So if I now go underwater... Yeah, it doesn't go down. What? I, okay, okay. What I want to test now is, does that affect my slowness? I'm going to stay in the water for a bit. Am I getting a slowness? There's no way that I've just, like, won the entire mod pack with this one thing. Okay, no, you, you do get slowness when you're under the water. Okay. Like, look, I am useless at the moment. So we do need a diving, a set of diving gear. But we don't have to worry about breathing, which is insane. Um, is this going to end? There we go. Okay. Let's um, continue exploring because apparently, apparently that's pretty good. <laughs> apparently we're getting some sick loot here. Um, this is very much like a raft pack. Like, um, you know the game Raft? It's very similar. Um, let's open this guy up. What do we get? Horse armor. Beautiful. Okay, there's some sails. I don't, yeah, I don't think there's anything else here that we can loot, as far as I'm aware. All right, let's um get back on the the adventure. <laughs> I'm okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's part of the pack. It's part of the mod pack. Me being able to instantly get the ability to. Uh. Uh. I think I made a mistake. My, <laughs> why is my everything invisible? Hmm. You know what? That does seem like a problem. Is it shaders? Mm, not necessarily, because that didn't really help. Okay. Y you know what? We still can do things. I'm just gonna... <laughs> Sounded like something fell in the water. Okay, I think... You know, I, I have a hunch that... It yeah, we might need a restart. I'm hoping I didn't just, like, corrupt my world or something. Alright, all right, give me a second. Give me a second. Okay, um, sadly I had to uh, take out... Uh, magnesium and pupil. So we're back to Optifine because uh, for some reason I was invisible and stuff. Now, th that is to be expected um, because it is extremely early in development for those mods. Um, al already, like, the loading screens from Optifine were just horrendous. Um, I, I mean, it's it's awesome. Like, I I'm able to play shaders without having, you know, too many bugs. 
Um, in fact, the game actually works, which is a, a step up. But w once Pupil gets working and like compatible with more things, it is going to be extremely difficult to go back to OptiFine. Like, already it is, even with a broken... <laughs> even when it's not really working. Okay, we got two ward discs. We have a barrel here, which I feel like wasn't even there before. I wonder if they regen. I... Oh my god, we got really good loot there. We got a bed and pattern. Should I... Do I dare just sleep here to skip the night time? Uh... I, why not? You know? <laughs> why not? If we die, we die. We're, we're pretty close to our base anyway. We could, we could probably swim there. Okay. Well, nice. Um, Our other stuff's probably done, which is over here. So what I could do is I could go to the right, and we'll try to get over to this thing there. How does that sound? Um, Assuming I know which direction the right is. Um... What's this? We're looking at, I think, that one. So I think I want to go left. I, I think I think that's what we want to do. <laughs> we'll see if the thing shows up. I could increase my render distance, but then, I don't know, we'll start getting frame rate issues. All right, so that's that building over there. We'll go to this one, then that one, then... Uh, I don't know where we'll go, but we'll, we'll slowly loop our way back to the base, um, getting all this sick loot as we do. The Paxel works as an axe as well, which is pretty cool. Um, vines, there we go. Get this barrel as well. Lily pad, chainmail boots... Don't, don't really need that stuff, but... I mean, I'll, I'll take it, you know? I, I'm not going to leave it there. Um, we'll go over to this place. Then I think we want to go in that direction to try and get back to our base. So, here we go. Uh, da -da 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 -da. A crate. It has given us more kelp. Okay, sure. Yep. I mean, you, you know, I'll, I'll take it once again. Not, not going not gonna to let some kelp go to waste. Um, we'll head over here. Can I sprint? No. I think you can sprint in uh, vanilla boats, believe it or not, but... Not in these. Um, there also appears to be nothing here. That was a that was a good stop. We've probably visited it before. We probably leached off of this thing. Um, so I believe that... Oh, if we stop being frozen, I think that's the island right over there that we want to go to. So go to it, we shall. Um, what were we doing? <laughs> it's been a little while. Like There's been a lot of loading screens in between uh, that luckily you guys did not have to see. I think what I want to do is double check this guy. How much gold do we have? That's probably enough. Um, grab the gold. Uh, is gold and iron going to mix? That is the question. Um, iron mixes with nickel, sky slime, and that, th honestly, that's it. Nice. So we could probably chuck our gold in here, and it should be fine. It looks as though we are going to have to put in some more uh, planks, but that should be not a problem. We'll wait until this one starts burning. Chuck these in, and we should be good to go. We'll set the gold to be at the Not enough free space for the fluid. Really? How much gold is this going to make? Not enough free space for the fluid. Oh, I, I mean, I guess we'll try to take out all of the uh, all of the iron that we have left in there, but that's still a little bit weird that it's still saying that. Um, do we have an iron... Well, I guess we'll get an iron eagle here. I was going to say, because we might have to get uh, nuggets out as well. Oh, there we go. Yeah, but it's still not going in. We're going to have to take out all six nuggets, believe it or not, which I think we can do by doing this. Place in this, place that in, take that out, and this will work, but... We're going to be going through a lot of sand to do this. Okay, that is all the iron. I guess you can only have one material at a time in a melter. In specifically a melter. So that that's fair. That makes sense. Um, I'm going to sadly need some... Well, you know what? Let's... Ooh, we only have four ingots, don't we? That's enough for the mesh. We could make... A, what should we call it? A pattern? Um, like a cast for it? Uh, but uh, sadly, I... I think we just we're gonna have to stick with uh with what we got at the moment. We 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 gotta keep rationing it because I want to make this mesh before we do anything else. So blank mesh, chuck it here, grab our grab our thing, and I guess I'll be casting some some gold. I'll I'll be back once I've done all all these four. All right, we have all of them. We should have some string in here. We have some sticks. I should now be able to take this out and go ahead and make a golden mesh. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take out the iron mesh from here. We'll, we'll store it. I mean, can we also... Can we even burn it down? No, we can't even, like, turn it back into iron. We'll leave that there. This guy now, even if we just put in gravel, which we should have plenty of, this should get us some titanium. It, it, it just should. Um, it's... Sadly, I don't think it will get us gold. It'll get us diamonds, though. 3%. That's good. That will come in handy. Some rubies as well. Bunch of stuff here. Okay. We still need to do sand for gold, but we'll get 13%, so that's a lot better. Um... We could do dust as well for 11%, so not as good, but, you know, it's it's an option. It's there. We could do it. Um, is there a better option? There's gold. Oh, no. There's only two pages. Okay. 
Um, and then the other one's crushed basalt. Basalt, I say. <laughs> um, okay. Before we continue, what can we do to make this a little bit better? <sighs> we could do compressed hammers. I mean, that's boring though. Are we able to make any machine that's going to automatically do this? I mean, I know there's an auto hammer, but like how doable is that? How doable is an auto hammer? Um, what? What's this? Four iron, two gold, and two redstone. Okay. I mean, we've got the iron. Holy moly, do we have the iron. Okay, but yeah, we have a lot. We have, like, no gold. Do we already have... No. I was going to say, do we have an emerald? Um, hmm. How do we get redstone? Redstone would be... Ooh, blazing mesh, lava, and dust. Okay. Redstone cluster, redstone chunk. Okay, but then it shows... That, oh, yeah, because it's that gives you redstone. This gives you the ingredients. Okay, that makes sense. Um, So, gold mesh and dust can get us redstone. Okay. Dust might be the go-to, then. Um, Because that'll get us redstone and gold. Um, ooh, this guy's full. Um, you know, that, that's that's actually not too bad. I was <laughs> I was really stressing out there. Um, okay. Uh, this episode, no idea how long it's been. Uh, I don't think it's been too long, so I think we can still get away with doing quite a few more things. Um, as for what those things are, I... Uh, duh, 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 duh. You know what? What do we have in here? We have an ingot. Here's what I want to do. I want to place down this, and I want to pour the molten on it. What this is going to do is it is going to create us an, a, um, an ingot cast, an ingot gold cast. Sadly, we don't have enough gold. Well, do, do we now? No, this isn't even getting us gold, so of course we don't. Um, oh, we do have an emerald chunk, though. Sadly, we're going to have to keep doing the ingots manually, which is annoying. Uh, pfft, mm, okay. Uh, mm, eh. Yeah, yeah, th that's fine. That's fine. We're just going to have to cut this down into sand and make it into this. And go ahead and grab the ingots out. It's a, it's a bit annoying. Once we get some more gold, um, we should be back in action. Alright, so it's empty at the moment. I'm going to take a stack of these. I'm going to turn them into this. And I'm going to chuck them in. And we'll, we'll have this start processing. Ideally, what I would like to do, if we can bring this as well, is set up a hopper here as well to get this running. Uh, I mean, I guess we can do it manually. A hopper is probably a bit overkill, isn't it? Uh, but what we can do is we can place this here. And look at this. It's just, the cast is going to stay here forever. We can chuck that in. Boom. Like, like that is perfect. Is it not? Um, hmm. I don't even know what we're doing here. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, what, what do I, what do I want to do? What am I even getting this iron for? I don't even know. Alright, so um, just a little update. I think an auto clicker would help. Because I've noticed it goes a lot faster if I manually click it really fast. As opposed to just hold it. Eh. Uh, maybe. I might be losing my mind. It could be a bit of both, though. <laughs> anyway. anyway. Alright, so what I actually wanted to do here, though, I, part of the reason I wanted the iron is I want to upgrade some stuff. And by that, I mean I want to make an iron wand. I think. I think I want to do this. Um, and then I also want to make an iron hammer. I think that'll come in handy. And I, I think this is a very important step in upgrades. What I want to do now is we should be able to place a lot more um, stuff with this with this hammer. Like... That is a lot of stuff at once. Oh, that's... Is that all of it? Really? Okay. I mean, that's fine. And then I should be able to... Oh, no. Oh, yeah. I got rid of Ultimine. Um, three. Remove the turtle shell. Add Ultiminer. There we go. Okay. Okay. We... <laughs> okay. That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Um, what I want to do is turn this into dust. I know we'll get less gold, but we're going to get a lot of... Uh, or not a lot, but we're going to get um, redstone as well, which I think is an all right trade-off. So dust... Chuck that in there. That's the processing. Beautiful. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, hmm. What can we do? I mean, these are rubies. Can these be used in anything useful? Like, do they turn... They can put in a dynamo, a press. I thought you'd be able to make tools out of it. Maybe you can make Tinker's Construct tools? Uh, should we give this a try? <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll see. Part builder. Um, I can place rubies in there. No, it's not really... Not really wanting to work now, is it? <laughs> no. Okay, Um. so, so we're going to get redstone chunks, or, or clumps, or whatever, and they make clusters. And then we have to, like, crush them somehow, I guess. Or we can put them in a tempered jar, which I think is what we might try and do. So, I believe, from memory, from what we were told, 
if we place cast iron or, or place iron on a campfire, it actually turns into this, uh, essentially into steel. Um, so we'll, we'll see if that works. I, I feel like it should have been, <laughs> I don't think a campfire is in technically hot enough, but I guess, you know, if, if Minecraft says it works, I guess it works. Um, we'll place another one on as well. Not sure how long it takes. Can we crouch? No, it doesn't tell us. Okay. Oh, when it's done, it, it just plops off. Cast iron. Beautiful. Um, okay. So, tempered glass jar, cast iron. We're going to need a, a gear, which needs a nugget, which needs that. We're going to need some more is essentially what that means. Um, so, I'm going to keep doing this. All right. Um, let's make the cast iron tube. No, the cast iron gear. No, I need one more. Okay. Okay. How long is that going to take? <laughs> I, th I thought we had it. Sorry. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll be back. Okay. I have enough for the gear now. <laughs> so, so we have one one part. We're also going to need two more bits um, for the tube. Then the tempered glass itself is going to be smelted glass panes. You could also put them on a campfire, um, but they're going to take a little bit longer than just smelting them. So we do have some glass. We don't have as much as we need, um, which sadly means I'm going to have to be... Ugh, ugh, my God. I've got to break some more stuff. Um... I think it's just, do this, place this, boom, boom, there we go. I think all we need is two more, like we need six total, right? That's how you make glass panes, right? <laughs> I think, I don't know, it's somewhere in there. All right, we can make the cast iron tube at least. We get a bunch of them as well. Um, and then we just need the tempered glass. So uh, this should be it done. Let's go ahead and turn this into glass panes. We, honestly, we'll probably just smelt them all. So I'll chuck that in there, this in here, take that out, make some fuel, chuck that in, and I'll be back once I have enough for a jar. All right, I think we have enough. Is it only seven that we need? Seven, and then a cast iron tube, and we have a tempered glass jar. Here it is, beautiful. I'm gonna place it on top of here, and as you can see, I, I had a hunch that's what we do, and, and judging by the visuals, I think that that's working. It's showing that we have low temperature from a campfire, and I guess it's telling us what we can actually do. We can craft using this. Okay. Um, there's a big list of things you could do. All right. Okay. Um, what did we want to do? <laughs> do we remember? Um, oh, yeah, it was the redstone uh, clumps. So I'm going to take the redstone chunks, I imagine four of them, turn that into a redstone cluster, and then I'm going to click this recipe. It puts in all the stuff, I guess, and we click play. And then this does something, magically. It has a cool process bar. It tells you the time. I I like the interface. It's pretty cool. And then that's it done. We have six redstone dust. Beautiful. So, you can do the same with um, iron as well, which is pretty cool. You can smelt with iron and stuff. You can apparently make lava. So, I guess this is how you make lava. Um, we don't need any lava yet, but that, that is good to know, I guess. Um... So what did what did that do? I d we have redstone. Um, oh yes, gold. Yes, beautiful. Let's um get all of this gold. Da -da 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 -da. Chuck it in here. We're probably going to use this to make an ingot cast, I would guess. Um, what else did we need to do? What what were we even doing? How am I? I feel like I'm going crazy. <laughs> and I'm, I've forgotten what we were doing. Like, all right, give me a second to try and think what we were doing. Ah yes, we were gonna make the uh the auto, auto hammer. So honestly. I'm probably just going to take out these ingots and make the hammer. I don't think it needs any power. It doesn't say that it does, but it does use some redstone, which sort of scares me a little bit. So let's take this out. There we go. Um, how much iron do we have? We're going to need some more. And honestly, what I might do for this is just cook it in here, just because it's a little bit faster and easier for me to do at the moment. Uh, it takes a little while. <laughs> um, auto hammer. Okay. We're going to need two more uh, glass as well. So let me go ahead and try and find some dirt we can take. All right, the glass is done. Um, I believe that's the iron done. We'll see if we can manually paste in our... Oh, we can use our hammer. Okay, that's, a, that's an investment. Iron auto hammer. Okay, I'm going to place it on top of this guy. Also, uh, it looks like he's got an input and then an output. Okay. So, so it does seem like he has an input and an output side. Let's pick this guy back up. Oh, he might have gone in here. Let's place it facing this way. That might work a little bit better. Input, output. Okay. And honestly, it looks like you can only automate it. Like, it's not not doing anything at the moment. Um, This is from FTB Sluice. So, at Sluice, are there conveyor belts? Like, how am I meant to get the stuff in there? 
Manual pump, auto hammer. Okay, let's um consult the book, because I think that was a quest that we did. Auto hammer. No longer shall you spend your time hammering away at countless blocks with the new and improved auto hammer. Trademarked. Um, it's as simple as two chests. The auto hammer will automatically push and pull the blocks next to the input and output slot. The blue slot is for input, the red slot is for output, and the random reward is a gold jetpack that we can add to our jetpack collection. <laughs> That's actually really cool though. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make those two chests. We place it in the perfect spot because... The hopper will take it from the output chest, so that's perfect. We can place this guy here. And now I believe all we need to do to get this running somewhat automatically is chuck this in there. Then at the top, you can see there's a timeout. Each time that timeout happens, it starts, well, hammering. Okay. Oh, it took the whole stack in. Okay. And now it's just automatically doing it. Interesting. Two... I want to see if this goes up to three. If this goes up to three, then it's faster than the sluice is. Okay, it goes up to three. Okay. That's pretty good. That's nice. I, you know what? This episode has been a pretty good success. We've done exploring. We've gotten some pretty OP things, mainly of which is this thing in here. This uh, turtle shell that lets me breathe underwater. Sure. Why not? Um, I wonder, if I equip broken heart, do I gain hearts? No. I, I think I have to eat still. I thought I could maybe find a loophole there. Um, we're going to keep using Ultiminer for now because it's pretty good. But for adventuring, turning on that guy, the, uh, turtle shell. Sounds pretty cool. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm already thinking of ways we could automate this with what we've got. I think if we do get pipes, it'll be a lot better. What do we need for this? Iron, redstone. Not too bad. We can pretty much do this. We can do this. Ooh. Oh, no, just sticks. Okay. Honestly, that's doable. We can get item pipes pretty soon. And what that'll allow us to do is set up uh, one of this auto hammer to like go in an infinite loop and get us uh, dust. Which will get us more gold, which we currently need. Okay. Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm on board. I'm on board. I'm liking this. <laughs> we have so much copper, by the way. I, Apart from... um, I, w What I do know is that we need to turn copper clusters into da -da 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 -da, liquid form. And then we need to pour this liquid, I believe, on top of a seared uh, heater to get an actual smeltery, an actual Tinker's Construct smeltery. So we'll do that at one point, but we have so much copper. We already have another stack of iron. Cool. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we can wrap this up. Oh, okay. Oh, and a beautiful sunset, I think, in the distance. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. Um, it, it seems like you guys are. I, I'm enjoying it. Usually, usually if I'm enjoying it, you know, that, that energy translates pretty well into the into the videos and, and people seem to enjoy it too. So hopefully that is the case. Um, if you did enjoy it, please do consider subscribing to the channel and uh, liking the video. Helps me out quite a bit. Uh, helps us grow, which I mean, we're doing a pretty good job of that already. So uh, thank you guys. Thank you. Um, as for the rest of this series, I mean, I'm having fun. We might be setting up a server soon there's the, the problem is there's quite a few different things i want to do in terms of our uh, community and the servers that we have um th th there's a few things in the works th they've been some of them have been in the works for a little while so i, I definitely want to get around to doing them um i think it is doable to do on a server i think you you would end up just typing like slash island create or something and it would put you on a completely new island so i think that's doable um we just have to get around to doing it you know what i mean um so stay tuned for that i'll, I'll likely let you know in a video um, that that's the thing. Okay, yeah. And thank you as well to everyone uh, supporting me financially, whether it's through um, donation links or whether it's through uh, the channel membership here on YouTube. Thank you guys a lot. Um, it, it's pretty pretty surreal. Um, thank you guys. And thank you to the mod pack because this is a pretty cool mod pack. Thank you to the mod developers. Pretty cool mods. <laughs> that, that's, that should be, uh, you know, uh, what, what, what's the word I'm looking for? Implied. That should be implied. Um, and thank you for watching the video, and hopefully you're having a good day. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.